Check one, two. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Yeah, welcome to the Smart Trivia Ho Ho Holiday Special. My name is Rob. I'm your host. Welcome to the party with all the smarties. Uh, yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Big shout out. Thank you so much all for coming. Thank you so much for being part of this. We got a great game for you tonight. 20 question holiday trivia. Uh, yeah, 20 questions, music, movies, all your holiday favorites rolled in. What's going on, everybody? What's up in the chat? Big shout out to Mandy Lynn 2181 for the resub. Candyman John, you are so smart. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Bob and Mermaid. Thanks for the applause. Push the fisherman firing off the raid alarm. Thank you so I much. BJX resubscribing. Thank you so S much. BJX 001. You are so smart. Everybody, thank you so much. Oh, it is good to be back. It's great to be here. Everybody, appreciate you. Ferris side with the resub 16 months. Wow. Mandy Lynn 21 I months. Smart. I can't believe it. Y'all are amazing. Fire it up. How's everybody de doing? Ah, Diva Views. Woohoo, indeed. Hope y'all are ready to play. We got a great game. And so, yeah, it's 20 question pop culture trivia. Whoever's got the most points at the end is going to get a sweet, smart trivia t shirt. And right after that, we've got Quip Blast. That's right. We've got custom rounds of Quip Blast 3 queued up, ready to go. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, custom Quip Blast for everyone. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, where did I get these shades? Honestly, I most more often than not mall kiosks, gas stations, rest stops. I get cheap sunglasses on the regular. Every once in a while, I get them from a uh, Instagram ad. But I see like sunglasses for like 20, 25 bucks. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll try them out. Those look cool. I break and lose sunglasses so often. I never spend more than 20, 25 bucks on a pair, but I uh, try to make them last. But anyway, everybody, how y'all feeling? How you being? <laughs> yes, I know a guy who knows a guy. I got a sunglasses guy. Uh, we basically just kind of follow these trucks around and wait for, wait for packages to fall I off the back. Smart. If you know it's what I mean. Go Wigmo with the resub. 12 months. Happy one year subscription anniversary. Thank you for the support. Everybody, seriously, thank you for all the support through everything. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this channel is nothing without all y'all. So really appreciate all the help, all the love. Um, wow, hype train close. Oh my God, Bob and Mermaid, thank you so much. Candyman, John, ah, oh, dude, you guys are uh, everybody being here. War King, how you been? Um, hope you got that T-shirt. Hope that yeah, you got that right. You posted. Uh, yeah, how's everybody been? Oh man, it's been yeah, it's been too long. I'm, I'm like I'm like, I'm so stoked. Uh, Diva views with 50 bit cheered. Thank you so much, Diva. You are so smart. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, yes. It is, in fact, a uh, Deadpool Christmas sweater. It's my Bah Humbug Christmas I hat. I am smart. all decked I out for smart. sure tonight. Yes, so that's be. what's up. Uh, yeah, everybody. Why does that keep happening with the uh, alert box where the font changes? That's weird. Anyway, uh, we got a hype train. You all are the best. Thank you so much. Anya RWS gifting the sub to Xyla Girl. Thank you so much, Anya. Thank you so much, Xyla Girl, for the continued support. Everybody, 
Love y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, yo, we're going to start this game in just a second, but first you all got to play. And in order to play, you got to enable the quiz kit overlay. So uh, yeah, if you haven't done this before, if it's your first time here, or if you haven't been here in a while, just double check. All you need to do is mouse over the screen, go on over to the right hand side of the screen where that arrow is pointing. Look for the quiz kit logo. Kowigma with the bits. Thank you so much, Kowigma. You are so smart. Uh, thank you for the biddies. Really appreciate that. But yeah, look on the right hand side of the screen where that arrow is pointing. Look for the quiz kit logo. Click on the quiz kit logo. And then when the dialog box opens up, look for the toggle switch that is visible. Click the switch and then ran right below that where it says manage access. Click manage access and then grant access to get your name on the leaderboard. Again, take a minute to enable that quiz kit extension, the quiz kit overlay, and we'll get you going. Diva Fuse, it's still there. Just got to dust it off. Love to hear it. If you're on a mobile device, that's going to change over in just a second to show you how to get in the game on the mobile devices. But uh, yeah, everybody take a second. Do the clicks. Get the settings all set up. Make sure you're ready to play. Hope you all are ready for it. Uh, yeah, I am excited. We got 20 questions. Again, holiday themed trivia. Five rounds. 20 questions standing between you and ultimate glory and yeah there it is right there if you're on a mobile device mobile device look down on the right hand bottom right hand corner or sorry the top right hand corner of the chat mappy 198450 bitch cheered thank you so much mappy you are so smart happy saturday happy thursday to you happy holidays to you hells yes brenda lee has to be an answer right xyla girl i don't know maybe maybe not it was not the hashtag yes this is a hint so there you go. It's uh, that's not a hint I give away gave away today. So uh, I'm not gonna say whether or not Brenda Lee is an answer tonight. It may be, it may not be, but uh, yeah. Thank you all for the bits. Thank you for some. So seriously, every contribution counts. Every do every donation, every bit helps a lot. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Bob and Mermaid, with the resub. Thank you so much, Bob and Mermaid. Really appreciate that. You are so smart. Uh, yeah. Check that out. Level two hype chain, y'all are the best. But uh, yeah, so there's the mobile dev device instructions again. One more minute, we'll give you everybody to ch get yourselves in the game, get yourself set up. If Mariah Carey isn't an answer, you're leaving. <laughs> 21 months, thank you so much. Yeah, I can't believe it. We're gonna be coming up on two years in March. That's right, two years on Twitch in March. And um, what if Wham isn't the answer? Oh no, I have yet to be Whamageddon and we're keeping it that way. Uh, I'm making it, I have like just over, what, like 90, not even 96 hours left. What? 48 plus 20. Uh, like, yeah, just over 48 hours. I have not been whamageddon yet. We're holding on. We're holding on everybody. So, uh, yeah, everybody, we're going to get this game started in just a second. Again, make sure you click on the quiz get extension, open up the dialog box, hit the toggle switch as visible, hit manage access, then grant access to get your name on the leaderboard. If you're on a mobile device, again, look for that quiz kit logo in the top right hand corner of the chat. And uh, yeah, there's those instructions. Again, you want to link identity, confirm, make sure you are good to go. And uh, if you've done all that, I'm going to hit the start quiz button on my side. So you should see the overlay popping up down below any second. It's going to say uh, ho, ho, holiday trivia. Hashtag, are you smart enough? The way the game is played, 20 questions stand between you and ultimate glory. I'm going to ask a question. You're going to get 20 seconds to pick one of four multiple choice answers. The faster you click on the correct answer, the more points you score. But if you get it wrong, you lose points. So again, faster you click on the more po faster you click on the right answer, the more points it's worth. Faster you click on the incorrect answer, the more points you lose. So if you don't know, let it go. Take the zero. That's what's up. If you don't know, let it go. Don't lose points. Take a zero. Don't go in the negative, especially early on. You don't want to start burying yourself, taking random guesses. Uh, later on, obviously, if you're falling behind, you got to start taking some of those shots. Got to try to catch up. It's all about the strategy here at the Smart Trivia Game. Uh, yeah, that's how it's played. The faster you click, the more you score. But if you click on the wrong answer, and every time you click on the wrong answer, you will lose points. So if you don't know, let it go. Don't lose points. Take that zero. That's the way the game is played. Everybody, hopefully you're ready to go. Let's start the fun with round number one. And round number one, your first four questions are going to be dedicated to holiday movies. That's right, holiday movies. So, uh, smarty people in a place to be. If you are ready to get this game started, let me see where you're at. Spam the emotes in the chat. Let me know you're happy to be back. Let me know you're happy to see me because I am happy to see you. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all. Show all the love. Let's see what we got. 
See, start spamming the emotes in the chat. Light up the screen. Let me see the love. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, everybody. Light up the emotes. Light up the chat. Smarties, show me where you're at. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody, great seeing you. Oh, Ferris side. That's what I'm talking about. BJX, Ange 1977. Hell yeah. Great to see you. Xylagirl, CB4K, Diva Views. Big shout outs to all y'all for being here. Thank you so much. Mizuo, Kowigma, Bob and Mermaid. You are so smart. Smart. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Let's get this game started. We're starting the fun with question number one. Don't forget the faster you click, the more you score. Good luck. Here we go. First round category again, holiday movies. First question, players. Let's do it. First question up. What is the name of the actor that appears in the 2018 Netflix original film, The Christmas Chronicles, and its 2020 sequel, as Santa Claus, question number one. What is the name of the actor that appears in the 2018 Netflix original film, The Christmas Chronicles, and its 2020 sequel as Santa Claus? Question number one. We are starting the fun. Fast you click, the more you store. And I did, I haven't had, I, I haven't, oh, Zyla Girl, I haven't done Leslie Nielsen on theme nights in almost a year. Oh yeah, don't forget wrong answers only in the chat. No spoilers, no giveaways, no freebies, but tell jokes all night long. Have fun with it for sure. Wrong answers only in the chat. And just like that, time is up on question number one. And you're getting points if you knew the correct answer was, of course, Christmas Chronicles. It's Kurt Russell. That's right, Kurt Russell. Yeah. Points going out to you if you got it. Way to go if you knew. And that's question number one. And we are just starting the fun. Xyla Girl couldn't answer this question. Oh no, somebody gift Xyla Girl a new Netflix subscription for Christmas. Xyla Guy, can you hear me? Renew that Netflix sub ASAP. Come on now. All right, so question number one. That's what's up. Oh, couldn't answer the question as you had an issue with the uh, extension? Really? Question number one. Push the fisherman. Boom, negative 14,000 points. Oh no. Push the fisherman. Did you guess Billy Bob Thornton? Oh no, they hate when that happens, but yeah. It's Kurt Russell, way to go if you got it, way to go if you knew, and that's the first question of the game, Xyla Girl. Uh, yeah, definitely try to refresh, hopefully it'll pop up for you on the second one. Here we go, question number two. Players, this time around, I need you to tell me the following. Question number two, in the 1990 holiday comedy film Home Alone, where is the McAllister family traveling to when they finally realize that Kevin is missing question number two in the 1990 holiday film home alone comedy holiday comedy film home alone where is the McAllister family traveling to when they finally realize that kevin is missing question number two fast you click the more you score what do you got players as i get my orange energy drink going It's in a van down by the river. You know it. Time strike. That was easy. Easy button slap going out to you. And just like that, time is up on the second question of the game. Points going out to you this time. If you knew to bring me back something French. That's right. Paris, France. Yeah, Paris, France. And of course, you had the one throwaway line by that neighbor who goes, bring me back something French. And, uh. Yeah, that's how you know they're headed to France to go visit, uh, yeah, their, uh, the dad's brother who lives out there. That's right. Question number two, Home Alone, they're headed to Paris, France. Way to go if you got it. Orlando. Yeah, that was Home Alone 2. Way to go. b calling that one out. That's right. Orlando, Florida. Yeah, that was Home Alone 2. Uh, and that's where Kevin accidentally got on a plane to New York instead. But hey, that's right. Points going out to everybody that knew Home Alone 1. They flew all the way to Paris. So points going out to you if you got it. And that's the second question of the game. Two more in the movie trivia round. Question number three. Everybody follow me. Here it goes. Next question up. What is the title of the 2004 holiday comedy starring Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis that is based on the John Grisham novel, Skipping Christmas? Question number three. What is the title of that 2004 holiday comedy starring Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis based on the John Grisham novel, Skipping Christmas? Question number three again. What is the title of that holiday comedy? Starring Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis, based on a John Grisham novel. It's the juror. No, it was the firm, Zyla Girl. Close. The Santa Claus 4. The heck with it. I like it. Yes. 
Diva Views, John Grisham wrote that question number three and points are going out to you if you follow Smart Trivia on Facebook and Instagram because that was the one we gave away earlier today on all the social medias and it's Christmas with the Cranks. That's right, Christmas with the Cranks and everybody got it right so I'm firing off that party light. Yeah, everybody, way to go. Congratulations, scoring points and thank you all for the follows, all the likes, all the stuff social media shares there it goes there's the party light button there it is yes hashtag yes this is a hint and uh for all y'all that didn't answer or didn't know the answer we give away one answer before every single game show whether it's a live event or a stream here on twitch yeah we give away one answer on twitter facebook instagram pick your favorite social media platform of choice give a follow cost you nothing and gets you ahead of the game it's like free points every time so that's question number three again points going out to everybody that's right christmas with the cranks based on skipping christmas a john grisham novel yeah who knew and that's question number three here we go next chance to score it's question number four next question up players Played by Henry Travers, what is the name of George Bailey, George Bailey's guardian angel in the classic 1946 film, It's a Wonderful Life? Question number four, again, played by Henry Travers, what is the name of George Bailey's guardian angel in the classic 1946 film, It's a Wonderful Life? Four choices popped up, only one correct answer. Fasty click, the more you score, but if you don't know, let it go. You get it wrong, you will lose points. All right. Players, here we go. Question number four. What do you got for me? It's Michael. Yes. And just like that, question number four is done. Time is up and everybody gets points. If you knew the correct answer, the name is Clarence. That's right. Clarence, odd body. If you want to be specific, that's right. Clarence is his name. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew. And just like that, round number one is done. Let's see how we're doing. Let's update the score. Let's go on. Five, six, seven, eight. Round number two coming up. All right. So let's see what we're looking at. Round number two dedicated to holiday music. And right now we've got BJX 001 currently on top of the leaderboard, followed by Mappy, Mizuo, Diva, Time Strike, Ferricide, War King, Bob and Mermaid, Xyla Girl, and Push the Fisherman rounding out that top 10. Still anybody's game. Look at those scores. It's close as we go on into round number two. And again, round number two dedicated to holiday music. So uh, yeah, y'all know what to do. Fast you click, the more you score. If you don't know, let it go. And again, wrong answers only in the chat. Keep them coming. Keep it going. We're having fun. Question number five. Everybody look alive. Let's do it. Next question up, players. Need you to tell me, what is the name of the multi-platinum selling boy band that released the holiday album Home for Christmas featuring the hit single Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays in 1998? Question number five. What is the name of that multi-platinum selling boy band released the holiday album Home for Christmas featuring the hit single Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays in 1998? Question number five. What do you got, players? It was BTS. Yes. Question number five. Again, it's 1998. BJX in here is where I take a dive. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Time is up on the fifth question of the game. And players, you're getting points if you knew it was, in fact, the Beach Boys. That's right, the Beach Boys. Now, points are going to you if you knew it was Timberlake and Company. In sync. That's right, in sync. Way to go if you got a way to go if you knew. That's right. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. That's right. That's the in sync track. Yeah. So just like that, question number five is done. Points going out to everybody that I knew it was in sync. And uh, yeah, let's keep this game rolling. Next question up is number six. Players, I want you to tell me the following question. Number six. Before she released the hit song, I'm Sorry, in 1960, Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award recipient Brenda Lee had a hit in 1958 with what holiday single? Question number six. Again, before she released the hit song, I'm Sorry, in 1960, Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award recipient Brenda Lee had a hit in 1958 with what holiday single? I missed you too. What's up, everybody? You know it. That's right, Brenda Lee is back. Happy holidays, everybody. Question number six, which track, which song? It's Jingle Bells, Winter Wonderland. All right, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yes, Mandy Lynn. Oh, 
there is at least one great there's at least one or two references to that song in the quiplash prompts later so uh definitely be sure to check that out but it's rocking around the christmas tree that's right rocking around the christmas tree and if you said santa baby that was eartha kit another legendary track from another legendary artist santa baby that was eartha kit uh actually i mean baby please come from christmas blue winter all um all hits but yeah Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. That's the hit by Brenda Lee. Big shout out to all the longtime Smarties that have been a part of that joke for 21 months and counting. Uh, yeah, nothing but love to all y'all out there. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, nothing but love. Let's keep it going. Question number seven. Here we go. Next question up, and I'm going to give you points if you could tell me. Complete the lyrics to All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Oh, I won't ask for much this Christmas. I won't even wish for snow. I'm just going to keep on waiting. Fill in that blank. Question number seven. It's one of these four choices. Complete the lyrics to All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Oh, I won't ask for much this Christmas. I won't even wish for snow. I'm just going to keep on waiting. Blank. Come on now. What you got? War King. That was easy. Easy button slap going right out to you. <laughs> for you to give me a, I'm just gonna keep on waiting for you to give me a gun rack I don't even own a gun let alone several guns to necessitate an entire rack yes it's underneath the mistletoe that's right way to go if you got a way to go if you knew and oh wow y'all know more you're Mariah I'm firing up the party light one more time because everybody got that right we fire off the party light ggs way to go Great job, everybody. Love to see it every single time. That's right. Underneath the mistletoe. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. And just like that, that's question number seven. We got one more. One more left. Question number eight. And then we're going to take a quick break. So everybody, let's do it. Question I number eight. Smart. It's the Ocho. I am the smart. What is the name that's of the Hall of Fame team. Major League Baseball infielder that's the namesake of the AL batting title and was erroneously mentioned as having converted to Judaism in the original version of Adam Sanders? Chandler's Hanukkah song. Question number eight. What is the name of that Hall of Fame infielder namesake of the AL batting title erroneously mentioned of having convert as having converted to Judaism in the original version of the Hanukkah song? Ardrios resubscribing 18 months. Nothing but love. Big shout out to Ardrios. Yo, if you're not following Ardrios, you're definitely missing out. Got to see Ardrios last month in Florida in real life. It was awesome. Big shout out. Nothing but love. Uh, yeah, all right, and just like that, time is up on question number eight, and you knew the answer was Rod Carew. That's right, Rod Carew, yeah. Erroneously, that's right, so it's funny because Rod Carew, his wife was Jewish, his children were raised Jewish, he actually wore a necklace with a Jewish symbol while he played baseball in honor of his wife, but everybody thought he converted, including Adam Sandler. And it was funny because Rod Carew actually wrote Adam Sandler a letter at one point, just kind of saying, hey, by the way, never actually did the conversion. So in later performances, you noticed Adam Sandler changed it. He doesn't mention Rod Carew anymore. And that's why. And that's your fun fact of the day. That's question number eight. Uh, yeah. Sandy Koufax, another, I mean, Jimmy Reese and Sandy Koufax, both famous major, uh, both famous Jewish baseball players. Uh, OJ Simpson, Clearly not a Jew. Uh, <laughs> and that's how you knew from the line, OJ Simpson, not a Jew, but guess who is? Hall of Famer Rod Carew. But uh, not so much as we learned. But anyway, that's question number eight. We are done with two rounds of trivia. Going to be right back in two minutes. Grab a drink, grab a snack, stay tuned. We got plenty more coming up right after this. All right, we are back. Round number three holiday tv that's right third round dedicated to tv episodes tv specials televised uh awesomeness all around diva thank you so much for the emotes love it those are awesome emotes diva absolutely love seeing those spam those away have fun with those those are great love the holiday themed emotes anybody out there with any holiday themed emotes from other streamers uh because i didn't do any of this here um but i can i should next time i stream i'll get some ready um yeah, that's the one thing I didn't do today. I know there's always something, and that's right, the Santa Gloria emote. That's the one thing I forgot to upload. Um, but yeah, 
Holiday TV round three. We got Mappy 1984 on top of the leaderboard. Mizu OAMVs, BJX, 001, War King 14, Ferris Side, Diva Views, Bob and Mermaid, Time Strike, Push the Fisherman, and Ange 1977. Right now on the top 10 of the leaderboard. Let's do it. Round number three, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let's keep it moving. Question number nine, or let's do it. <laughs> Xyla Girl. I was this close, this close to ha there is not a Hanukkah Aardvark question. But there was this close to being one. So close, you don't even know. Um, like, I actually, like, had to... I, I, like, I got halfway through typing, and it was like, nah, I'm going to do something else. So, <laughs> Hanukkah Hardvark, that almost happened. That almost happened, Zyla girl. Um, I'm going to have you write, start writing some of these shows, for real. All right, everybody, question number nine. Let's do it. Next question up. Here we go. Which of the following titles was produced for NBC in 1964, making it the first stop-motion animated holiday film to be produced by Rankin Bass Productions Incorporated? Question number nine. Which of the following titles was produced for NBC in 1964, making it the first stop-motion animated holiday film to be produced by Rankin Bass Productions Incorporated? DJ Kevin Brown. What's up, DJ? How you been? Question number nine, faster you click, the more you score. What you got, players? Which of those titles was the first from Rankin Bass Productions Incorporated? All right, time is up on the ninth question of the game, and you're getting points if you knew the correct answer this time around was in fact Rudolph. That's right, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Yeah, way to go if you got that one. Frosty, Santa Claus... Uh, all came next. Little Drummer Boy was actually the second one they did, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, that's right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the very first of the stop-motion animated Rankin Bass Productions. Uh, yeah. Also, I got to... It was so incredible. So I got to hang out with my friend, a friend of mine from high school way back in the day. Uh, and her son does stop motion animation video. And I'm just like, dude, that is the coolest thing ever because I tried doing stop motion animation video for like 10 minutes in college. I know I maybe spent like two hours on a video, realized I got like three seconds of footage at most. And I was like, no, this is going to take forever. I can't, I do not have the patience to do this. Uh, nope, not going to work, but yo, it's an, I was just absolutely blown away by his work and this dude's a teenager and it's like, wow, awesome, awesome. So uh, yeah, I got to give a big shout out there, but yo, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that's right, Stop Ocean Animation Production, Rankin Bass, first one. Let's do it again, players. It's question number 10. Next question up, players, this time, what sitcom was the following screenshot taken from? That's all you got to do. What screenshot? What TV show is this? Come on now. Fast you click, the more you score. What TV show is this screenshot right here taken from? Oh, yeah. Stop motion animation. So much patience. Oh, gosh. All right. BJX001 is slapping that easy button. That was easy. Of course. Question number 10. Hopefully it's a familiar one to you. Oh my gosh, Xyla Girl with a swing and a miss. Ouch. There are no foul balls, only strikes here. Question number 10 points going out to you if you knew. That was, of course, a screenshot from the Festivus episode of Seinfeld right before the performance of the Feats of Strength, to be specific. Uh, yes, that's right. Happy Festivus for the rest of us. Question number 10 points going out to you. If you knew, of course, the correct answer was Seinfeld. I got a lot of issues with you people. Yeah, BJX, you know it. All right, question number 10, of course, it was Seinfeld. You, yeah, you guys got that. The human, and yeah. Big shout to celebrate the holiday season, a charitable donation in your name has been made to the Human Fund. Money for people. That's what I'm talking about. The Human Fund. Had to make that reference, stupid. Question number 10, done. Let's turn this game up to 11, shall we? Question number 11, crank it. Which animated Nickelodeon series aired a special episode in 1996 that told the story of Hanukkah becoming the first children's show to dedicate an episode to the holiday? Question number 11, which Nickelodeon series aired a special episode in 1996 that told the story of Hanukkah becoming the first children's show to dedicate an episode to the holiday? And you can see I corrected the spelling on the quiz kit, but I didn't catch the error up there. <laughs> it happens. Question number 11. 
can't, dog. You can't do that on television. Oh, CB4K. Yes. Oh, man. Ren and Stimpy. Ferris side. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rado, Rocco's Modern Latke. Oh, oh, my God, Mappy. That's great. Question number 11. Points going out to you if you knew it was Rugrats. That's right. Rugrats. Yeah. Rugrats did a whole Hanukkah special where they reenacted the story of the Maccabees. Uh, yeah, question number 11. Just like that, points going out to everybody. If you knew that correct answer was, of course, Rugrats. That's right. Everybody, we are done with 11 questions. We are just over halfway through this game. Let's do it again. Question number 12. Here we go. Faster you click, the more you score. Tell me, players, what is the title of the classic sitcom that made TV history on Christmas Eve in 1956 when it aired the first ever flashback episode featuring its main characters appearing in vignette stories framed as memories being shared as they decorated their Christmas tree? Question number 12. Which TV sitcom on night in which TV sitcom? 1956, Christmas Eve, invented the flashback episode. That's right, question number 12. Which classic TV sitcom made history when they invented the flashback episode? All right, and just like that, time is up on the 12th question of the game. And this time you're getting points if you knew it was, in fact, the facts of life. It was the facts of life. No, of course. It was I Love Lucy. That's right. I Love Lucy invented the flashback episode. That's right. You had Lucy, Fred, Ethel, and Ricky decorating the tree. Uh, yeah, you got Ricky telling stories about when he was in a barbershop quartet, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but that's right. The very first flashback episode now every sitcom has done it since then and uh yeah i love lucy was the one that invented it so yo big points going to you if you got it way to go if you knew i love lucy and that's question number 12 let's see what round four has for us and round four your next questions they're all about toys games gifts uh yeah basically christmas toys games and gifts it's kind of how we're going to call this. Uh, Mappy1984, still on top of the leaderboard, 198,000 points. War King 14, 192,000. Me, Zero, AMVs, B Jacks, Time Strike, Bob and Mermaid, Diva Views, Push the Fisherman, Ange 1977, and Ferris Side. Rounding out that top 10, let's do it again. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Presents, gifts, toys, games, all that good stuff. Question number 13, let's do it. Players, I need you to tell me the following. Which classic video game was packaged with the original Nintendo Game Boy handheld video game console, making it one of the best-selling toys released for the 1989 holiday season? Question number 13, which classic video game was packaged with the original Nintendo Game Boy? Question number 13, faster you click the more you score, it's one of these four. Time is just about up. Again, which video game package with the original Game Boy? All right, time is up. It was Fortnite. Eh. <laughs> no, it was Among Us, actually. But question number 13. Now, you're getting points if you knew it was, of course, Tetris. That's right, Tetris. Way to go if you got that. Way to go if you knew originally packaged with the Game Boy. Yeah. They didn't go with a Mario. They went with Tetris, and the rest was history. That's right. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew. That's right, Tetris. First Game Boy game to be pushed with the be, uh, be uh, released with the system. Uh, nobody said Jackbox Party Pack Zero. Uh, back then, it was just still you don't know Jack on PC. <laughs> so that's question number thirteen. Question number fourteen. Next one up. Let's do it. Next question. Here we go. Question number fourteen. Players, I want you to tell me what is the name of the e-reader device from Barnes and Noble that originally featured a smaller second screen and had Wi-Fi capabilities before many of its competitors, making it one of the most popular items sold during the 2009 holiday season. Question number 14, what is the name of that e-reader device from Barnes and Noble originally featured a smaller second screen and had Wi-Fi capabilities before many of its competitors, making it one of the most popular items sold during the 2009 holiday season? Question number 14, what do we got? Diva views slapping that easy button. I got you, Diva. 
That was easy. Ha, DJ Kevin Rise. It was the Barnes and Noble's door stopper. All right, and just like that, time is up and points are going out to you. If you knew question number 14, the correct answer is, of course, the Barnes and Noble Nook. That's right, the Nook. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew Amazon produces the Kindle. Uh, books is another brand device that I saw in my travels. Sage just sounded smart, but nobody clicked on it, so whatever. Uh, yeah, that's right. Points going out to you if you knew the Barnes and Noble Nook. That's the correct answer for number 14. Huge seller for the 2009 holiday season. Uh, the Kindle has since caught up and surpassed, but yeah, originally the Nook was the hotness. Question number 15. Let's do it again, players. What is Walmart's full retail price for the popular Star Wars Galactic Snack and Grodu animatronic, animatronic toy currently on sale? Question number 15. Quanto Questa, how much does it cost? What is Walmart's full retail price for the popular Star Wars Galactic Snack and Grogu animatronic toy currently on sale? Oh yeah, it's a thing, Diva. It's a toy Grogu. It eats, it makes sounds, it's all the Baby Yoda you could ever want. And just like that, time is up on question number 15, and you're getting points if you knew the correct answer. The Galactic Snack and Grogu, Grogu full retail price, $79. That's right, currently full retail price, $79. That's right, 80 bucks. For the full price, uh, I think Walmart's got it on sale right now for like 51. I saw Target with it for 45. Amazon's got it like for 40 and change. So uh, it's currently on sale right now. But the full MSRP, the full price listed on Walmart, it's $79. So way to go if you got a way to go if you knew. And uh, yeah, all right. That's question number 15. Let's do it again. Question number 16, last one of the round. We're going to take another quick two-minute break after this. So let's do it. Question 16. Players, I want you to tell me. What is the name of this special edition Beanie Baby doll released in 1999 to commemorate the new millennium? Question number 16. Here you go. Here are your choices. What is the name of this special edition Beanie Baby doll released in 1999 to commemorate the new millennium? <clears throat> Definitely going to need to refill the water on this break for sure. All right, number 16, what do we got, players? And yep, just like that, time is up. DJ Kevin Rise slapping the easy button. All right. That was easy. DJ Kevin Rise keeps one of these on his turntables. Of course, it's Ty 2K. That's right, Ty 2K is the name of that beanie, Yo. baby. That's right, Ty 2K is his name, yeah. A lot of players going with Millennium Bear. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. Ty 2K is the name of that beanie baby right there. It is not Millennium Bear. Not at all. And just like that, though, we are done with four rounds of trivia. We got one more round, four questions left, but we're going to take another two-minute break. I got to refill my water bottle so you know what to do. Grab a drink. Grab a snack because we'll be right back with a lot more meat. With... Dude, I haven't done this in a while. Grab a drink, grab a snack, because we'll be right back with a lot more smart trivia. So stay tuned. All right, we're back. Everybody look alive. Round number five. We still got Mappy1984 on top of the leaderboard. We meet ZOA, MVs, War King 14, BJX 001, Time Strike 45, Diva Views, Push the Fisherman, Bob and Mermaid 55, Ange 1977, and Ferricide. Rounding down that top 10, we are going to do it again. Round number five, Potpourri. Just miscellaneous holiday Christmas trivia. Um, <clears throat> this is where you'll find a sports question thrown in here, a this day in history question. Uh, let's see, what else did I mix into this one? Um, there's a couple other ones. There's a couple like, oh yeah, there's a love that dirty water fun fact question, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. But yeah, this is just kind of like the miscellaneous holiday trivia round. Last four questions. Time to put your stuff to the test. Here we go. Questions 17, 18, 19, and 20. This is it. Last four questions. Let's do it. Mappy 1984 on top of the leaderboard. Again, whoever's on top of that leaderboard after 20 gets the sweet smart trivia t-shirt. Let's do it. Question number 17. Here we go. Next question. Which company commissioned illustrator Haddon Sunblom to paint Santa for Christmas advertisements in 1931, ultimately depicting him as a jolly, rosy-cheeked character for the first time in American culture? Question number 17. 
which company commissioned illustrator Haddon Sundblom to paint Santa Claus for Christmas advertisements in 1931, ultimately depicting him as a jolly, rosy-cheeked character for the first time in American culture? All right, five seconds left. All right, time is up. Saturday evening post, BJX knows your history. Uh, that's funny because the uh, correct answer I have for an image came from the Saturday evening post. And of course, it's an advertisement for Coca-Cola. That's right, Coca-Cola. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you knew. That's right. Yes. Ooh. Points going to you if you knew. Yeah. Coca-Cola. That's right. That's question number 17. Let's do it again. Question number 18. Next one up. Players, this time I want you to tell me which NFL team was Hall of Fame inductee Don Shula coaching when they defeated the Detroit Lions on December 25th, 1994, earning him his record-breaking 319th regular season victory as a coach. Question number 18, which NFL team was Don Shula coaching when they defeated the Detroit Lions on December 25th, 1994, earning him his record-breaking 319th regular season victory as a coach hashtag sports ball come on now what is it every team that plays the lions <laughs> every team that plays the lions yes all right all right all right question number 18 what do you got time is up and we're got we're giving out points lots of points tons of points but only if you knew the correct answer was the fish that's right the miami dolphins yeah points going out to you if you got it way to go if you do don shula long time coach of the miami dolphins record-breaking historic hall of fame coach from the miami dolphins that's right way to go if you got it way to go if you do and just like that there's only two that's right two questions left in the game starting with this one right here question number 19 second to last question of the night all right what is the name of the holiday line of Oreo cookies from Nabisco that is currently available with five different seasonal designs and comes with red cream? That's right. Comes filled with red colored cream. Question number 19. Here we go. What is the name of that holiday line of Oreo cookies from Nabisco currently available with five different seasonal designs and comes with red cream? That's right. Comes filled with red colored cream. Question number 19. Show me what you got. Oh yeah, it's 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 right there on the package. They they have a they, yes, they have a name. <laughs> Time is up. Question number nineteen, and the name Die Hard Snacky Poos. I love it. Question number nineteen. It's called Oreo Joy. That's right, Oreo Joy. That's right, the winter themed Oreo with the red filling. That's right, Oreo Joy was the answer we were looking for. Way to go if you got it. Uh, it is not Santa's favorite Oreos, not Berry Blast Oreos, not Rudolph's Red Nose Oreos. No, it's Oreo Joy. Way to go if you got it. Way to go if you know. Yeah, that's right. The Oreos with the red cream in them. <laughs> All right, that's it. Last question coming up. Second to last question of the game. Oreo Joy. Last question of the game. Here it comes. Question number 20. This one's worth all the money. Here we go. Last question of the night. In 1890, James Colonel Jim Edgar had a custom tailored Santa suit made and wore it into the department store he owned, making which Massachusetts town the home of the first department store Santa? Question number 20. In 1890, James Colonel Jim Edgar had a custom tailored Santa suit made it at, he had a Santa, Santa suit made, wore it into the department store he owned, making which Massachusetts town the home of the first department store Santa? Yeah, that's right. First department store Santa in the United States. I am DJ Hopkins I am with the smart. resub. Thank you so much. You are so smart. Question number 20 is done. And you're getting points. If you knew that fun fact, it was the sound town of Brockton. That's right, Brockton, Massachusetts, just southeast of Boston. Uh, yeah, also home of the famous boxer Rocky Marciano, amongst many others. That's right, Brockton, Massachusetts, home of the world's first department store Santa. 
Of course, uh, there's a little bit of a debate with Macy's as to when and where certain things happened. Uh, and of course, it was in Seattle where a photographer first had the idea to, hey, let's have kids take pictures with Santa. So pictures with Santa was invented in Seattle, but first department store Santa, Brockton, Massachusetts. Yeah, and he would just like walk around in the Santa suit and say hi to kids. It wasn't like a thing where he'd like pose with them or anything yet. And that's what like Macy's did later on or something. But hey, yeah, whatever. 20 questions done. That's right. Points going out to everyone that the new correct answer was Brockton. Uh, no, it wasn't lower Worcester, Worcester, Boston, uh, Springfield. No, all right. That's right. Brockton, Massachusetts. So uh, yeah. All right. Let's see who tonight's big winner is. 20 questions are done. And with a grand total of 285,000 points, it's War King 14. <laughs> Yeah! All right! Big shout out to War King, Mappy1984, Mizuo, Bjex, Diva Views, Time Strike, Bob and Mermaid, Ange 1977, Push the Fisherman, Ferris Side, CB4K, Xyla Girl, DJ Kevin Rise, Alien IQ, Kuigma. Thank you so much for playing. Hope you had as much fun playing as I did hosting. War King, you're getting a special edition t shirt. I still got your contact info from last time, so don't even worry about it. It's just going to be holiday colored red and green, so I got you covered. Um,. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for playing. Hang out a couple minutes. I'm going to go fire up the Jackbox Party Pack because this party is not done. We are not done yet. We're going to be playing some Jackbox Party Pack games, all holiday-themed Quiplash prompts. That's right. We're playing Quiplash 3, all holiday-themed prompts. So everybody, give me like two minutes, and uh, I'm going to fire that right on up. So everybody, hang out for just a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> 